Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I wanted to go over centering divs, or really any block matter, a block element for that matter. So I've got a blank web page here set up called center divs, doc type for um, HTML5, head section, got some internal style set up, but I haven't created any yet, so let's just do a couple things. I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a, uh, a div here. I'm going to call it id equals container. And let me just kind of scroll up here so you can see that. So I've got an opening div right after my opening body tag. And I'll put a closing div right there before my closing body tag. And this is a pretty normal thing to do. And basically the entire web page is contained within this container. And just so we have something else to look at, I'm going to go ahead and put a headline one on here. And I'll just call it headline one. And just so we can check this out, I'm going to put a div within my div. So this will be a div, and I'll call it id equals content. There we go. And so we know what that is. I'll just put the word content in there. So I've got a div container. Within that container, I've got a headline one, and then I've got another div. So I have a div within a div, headline one within a div. I'm going to go ahead and save this, and let me launch this in Firefox. And here's how my page looks. So it's not very clear on what's going on. So I'm going to go a step further here. I'm going to go up to my CSS, and I want to format these to some degree. So I'm going to go to my styles here. Div ID container. Okay. So this is the selector for the, con for the div element with ID container. And I'm going to put a background color of red. I'm going to take my H1 and I'll do a background color of blue. And I'm going to take my other div. This will be ID equals content. And I'll do a background color of green. There we go. And now let's see what we have. Okay. So we're seeing very natural behaviors of block elements. All block elements, whether it's paragraph, headline one, unordered list, or div, will try to take up the full width available to them. So a block element like a div will be as wide as it can be until you tell it not to be that wide. Now to make it even clearer, I'm going to jump back over to my CSS, and I'm going to put a little bit of padding on my container. Okay padding of 20 pixels. Now it's going to be clearer that my headline one and my content are within side of this container div. So now comes the big question is how do you center these kinds of elements? Well with something like, like a headline one you might say well no problem I'll just go to headline one text align center. But this is misleading. Let's check this out. It does center the text and that's really probably what you wanted. But notice my headline one has a blue background. It's as wide as it can be. My blue headline one, my headline one is not really centered. The text within my headline one is centered. And that's probably fine, and that's what you wanted. But knowing that, how do you center something like this content? Because let's say I want this content to be centered. Um, well, I could do text align center doesn't center the div content, it centers the text within there. Okay, text align center. Well, what if it was a little bit narrower? Let me change its width over to something like uh, 60%. There we go. So now my content div is 60% wide of its container. So 60% of its parent container, so it's 60% the width of my red container div. But now we can clearly see that this is not centered. So here's the trick. If you want to center a div, margin. OK, now there's a couple ways you could write this. But one of the most common ways um, is to use two units of measurement here. The first number is going to be the top and the bottom. So I could do something like, let's say, 0px for the top and the bottom. Auto mag automatic margins are auto for the left and the right. Top, bottom, left, right. And now when I refresh this, this div is centered in the page. Now, if instead of 0 pixels, I had something like 50 pixels, now I have 50 pixels of margin on the top and the bottom, automatic margins on the left and the right. I'll knock that back down to 0, though. So that's how we center a div. And this is how you can also make a fixed width container. So if you can see in my browser here, 
Um, as I resize my browser window, my red container div expands and contracts. And of course, my green content div expands and contracts too because it's got a percentage width. So if I want to do a fixed width container, I would go to something like my container and I would do a width, let's say um, I'll do uh, 800 pixels. Okay, just by doing 800 pixels, that doesn't center it. Then I would go a second step and I do margin 0px for the top and bottom, auto on the left and right. By the way, if you look at a bunch of places, if you do zero, you might not even see the unit of measurement. Sometimes they just write it like that, but I like writing in the px, so. Here we go, so now that content is a div. Now check this out when I resize. Notice that my red doesn't expand and contract because I've set it to be 800 pixels wide. This is now what we call a fixed width layout as opposed to a flexible layout. So I do get to a point to where if my page goes narrower, then I get a horizontal scroll and you wanna avoid that when all possible. So that's how you center a div. And the secret to that is simply give it automatic margins on the left and the right.